Hi, I'm Christine Sutherland, and Trenton, my friend, has just adopted his new cat. What's your name? Milo. Oh, it's a he? Yep. Oh, great. And would you like to learn to massage Milo? Sure. Great. Okay. Go ahead and you can show us. And this is Monica. Hi. She's Trenton's mom. How's it going? The sponsor for <laughs> Milo. Great. I think Milo's a teenager, but we're going to find out soon. Oh, no, he's a little kitty. Oh, he's a kitty. He's a oh, Trenton, this is perfect. Okay. So what we'll do, and how do you know it's that one? Not that one. They look so much alike. Right, okay, but you know that one's yours. You're good. Okay, so then, oh. That's why he's getting here. Oh. <laughs> okay, so I'll open this and you can lift them out, eh? And we'll try and keep the other ones in. Okay, Milo, we're gonna give you your first massage. Milo's massage, that's good alliteration. It's gonna be a little bit hard, I think. Oh yeah, Kitt kittens are very hard. They're very uh, rambunctious. There we go. Okay, so let's sit over here. And how's the light if we're here? Why? Yeah, that's good. Is that gonna work? Yeah. Okay, have a seat, Monica, you can sit right sure. here. Okay, so what I'll do is, is I'll make sure that I keep Milo on Trenton. And you take your fingertips and you massage like this just like a baby massage right up into the neck. And that way you're getting the whole spine and he'll want to leave any second. And between the two of us, we'll just kind of, so you hold, yep, that's it. Right from the tail, oh, he purrs fast. You can feel him purring right up to his neck, yep. And you always do the spine first and then it Makes up this cat one. Monica, if you can fill in there. <laughs> You've got the teenager's one. And look how Lucy goes, Milo. So you can do this. You can hold him like that. And he'll just probably go loose. And then just rub him. You rub one end, I'll rub the other. This is a nicely relaxing cat. And then come on up here and rub right behind the ears. Yep, that's good. And they really like that. And then as they're growing up, you want to desensitize in between their, their paws, have these little nails that come out here. So their toes, in between their toes are quite sensitive. So it just go like this. And we, that's it, that's it. Work right in between. You want to get a downward shot on this, Wyatt. And you can get our new owner's finger. You're doing a good job. He thinks so. Okay, while he's in this position, let's do his tummy. So what you do is you take your fingertips like this, and you can be quite firm. He'll try and decide this is enough of this kind of stuff. So I'll show you how else you can do the tummy. In this position, you can take his rear end and his front end, and you kind of go back and forth. There you go. So you kind of squeeze him up and stretch him and then squeeze them up and stretch them. And you can use more fingertip kneading there. Yeah, even more. Yeah, we're just giving your tummy a rub. Let me show you. So you can get like this right in there. And you can just keep letting them move, but my fingers are still going. So try that. He's now serious. He's got his claws out. He needs business. So let, we'll take a big stroke first. That's it. And then go for a little stroke. Milo, you are lucky. Trenton, how'd you get such a serious name? I don't know. There's a wonderful uh, canal named after you. And the more kissing, the better. <laughs> he likes that. And then this kind of thing is really, really good. And the more you rub him, the more he gets used to you and being handled. That's it. And this is really good if you're ever wanting them to swallow a pill or something like that. You rub around the neck like this. Get them to swallow. Good work. Okay, say he had a cough. Something like that. I'll show you the position of your hand. You do a cup shape like this and you go like that. And you do, it's called cupping. And try that. 
and we just plumped you do on them. Older cuts too. Yes, and okay. dogs. Any animal from horses to hamsters, you can do this. And it's a nice one to loosen up the expectoration in the lungs. And then you can do this and you can really shape them. And that would help if something was congested in his lungs to loosen it up. So you just kind of, yeah, that's it, shake, shake, shake. That's it, back and forth, good, good, good. And that's the way you can loosen up the whole thorax where the ribs are and his lungs will get a nice work over. And then you want to do the finishing one right from the nose, meow, out to the tip of the tail. So that way you cover the whole nervous system. And don't be afraid to be more firm with your touch there, Trenton. You want it firm like this, really press him down. That's it, press him down. He's not impressed, but I am. Try this angle. <laughs> there you go. Yay, right to the tip of the tail. Nose, start at the nose. You're stingy on the face, start at the nose. There you go. And then the other hand, like a conveyor belt. One, nice. And the other, you got it. Yeah, you are very lucky. So that is the Milo massage. So I'd like to thank Trenton for being such a good student. Yay, congratulations. Thanks, Mom. We have another parrot. <laughs> yeah, we got a parrot, not a kitten. That's great. Well, I have to go to my spot and take a look at him. Holy moly, are you okay, sir? Hey, what's going on? Hey, Milo. There you go. Thank you. And would it be okay if we posted that and showed people? You getting your cat? Okay. So we're just gonna follow you because you're now the proud owner and you're taking him home and no, we're picking him up on Tuesday. Oh that's not ready to oh. go home yet. Oh that's good. So Milo would you say you're ready to go home yet? <laughs> so Trending, can you tell us what makes it ready for him to go home? I'll get you to face this way because then the light will get on your face. He has to be eight weeks, buddy. Eight oh, he weeks. has to be eight weeks? Oh, so he's only seven and a bit? Yeah. Oh. He's turning eight weeks on the day. Nice. So you come and visit him? And now you know how to give him the massage? Yeah. Oh, that is so nice. Yeah. Great. Congratulations. Thank you. Would it be okay if we showed people how we did it? No okay. problem. Great. Yeah. Right. When I put him back, don't you dare take him with you. <laughs> We're not. No, I'm not holding him right now. Okay. So everybody, it's about that simple for how to learn to rub your kitten the right way. And Milo has a great situation here with Trenton and his mom, Monica. So he can get massaged every time they come to visit and then he'll have a hands-on family for when he goes home. So remember, there's lots of kittens and cats. We've got teenagers here, and look at this. This is a natural, I love to be rubbed teenager. So remember, call your SPCA and find a pet that you can rub the right way.